Hey guys, what's going on? It's Lefty from 643 Productions coming at you here with a Black Ops sniping gameplay commentary, search and destroy gameplay commentary. This is the last out of my vault for search and destroy. The last gameplay I actually have in my vault that won't be a retread of some kind. Uh, this is Stockpile playing with Dashboard Queen, I believe Ernest Lee and possibly Jay Brooks and Mr. Jesus at work whose perspective you will get to see at the end of the video because I die and I didn't want you to, you know, to close out the video, just see nothing at all. So we're going to switch to his perspective and show you what he can do to close out the game. Now, I wanted to talk with you guys about something. Or I wanted to make an admission of, of sorts, and some of you might know this, some of you might not. I am a nerd. I'm a huge nerd. And I know that may come as a surprise to some of you, being as I cap myself playing video games and then talk about the video games and put those videos on the internet. But I am a nerd, and I don't really... I've never really seen anybody talk about their nerdiness on YouTube. It's always been a kind of thing that people don't really talk about. It, it's seen and not heard. I guess would be the perfect way to put it. Their nerdiness is seen and not heard. And, I, and, and I'm and i one of those people where I see things that aren't being talked about and I see things being left unsaid because for whatever reason, some people might not want to admit that they're a huge nerd. Some people just think that it, people won't find it interesting, but I think you guys will. I'm a huge nerd and I want to, and I thought, you know, how am I going to exemplify my nerdiness? What am I going to do to show it off? How am I going to show you, yep, I'm a huge nerd? And I thought the best way, the most stereotypical way that most of you can identify with is Star Trek. I am a huge Star Trek fan. Uh, mostly the motion pictures, uh, my, my favorite Star Trek show of all time. And really, the only one I watched with any regularity was Star Trek The Next Generation, Captain Picard. Uh, but I watched most of the motion pictures with the original crew from the 1960s television show, all the way through the ones featuring the the cast from The Next Generation. I haven't seen the new one yet. I kind of shied away from that one because I, I got the feeling that the series was moving away from what I thought Star Trek had become. And now to exemplify that, I'm going to put a link in, in the description to a video that I think shows this off perfectly. And this scene, this is this is a tough admission for me, so bear with me if I stumble a little bit and and uh, seem unsure of whether to say it. But I'm going to be honest, this scene, from time to time, I shed a tear during the scene from that uh, that I'm going to link you to. It's from the motion picture, or Star Trek, the motion picture, uh, the first film based on the television series featuring Kirk and all those people. And in this scene, uh, Captain Kirk is going back to the Star Starship Enterprise uh, after he had been removed from his command for a while, and, uh, and he never thought he was going to get the ship back, and he's coming back to it, and it's just the, the way the scene is shot, the way the music flows, I think it's absolutely perfect. It's a wonderful, wonderful scene. And the reason I'm being so open about this, and it, and it really brings, me, brings a tear to my eye at times, not because... This is hard to say, not because I'm, I'm such a Star Trek nerd. I don't speak Klingon. I, I didn't even know that Klingon was an actual language for the longest time, and I don't really care to learn Klingon. But the reason it, it's so moving to me is that I see the, that, few, that depiction of, of humanity's future. And I see that, and I want that so badly for humanity. Because when you think about Star Trek, when you think about when you take all the views expressed and, and all the things, all the values that it possesses, it is, it is a, a, a fantastic outlook on the future for humanity and, and exploring our galaxy and our universe and all those things. And I want so badly to see that for humanity that it, it's just a fantastic moving scene. And, and I really enjoy it, and, I, and again, like I said, I really enjoy all the Starship, or <laughs> Star Trek movies. Now, I, I want to know what you, what makes you a nerd? Come out and say it, because we're all nerds, okay? That, that's why I'm being so open about this. We are all nerds. We, all, we are all here for the same thing. I know some of you might not like to admit it, especially some of you that I run into in search and destroy lobbies. You yell at us or me about time plate and all those things, but we're all nerds. We are all nerds. So what makes you a nerd? What do you do that's nerdy? Is it is it Star Trek? Is it Star Wars? Are you a huge Star Wars geek? Are you are you do you play an instrument? Are you really good at an instrument? There's nothing wrong with being a nerd. 
there is nothing that says, and and I guess this can be a social issue too. There's nothing that says that you that you are either a nerd or you are uh, you're an, you're an alpha type that you're extroverted. You can be a nerd and still enjoy all the fantastic things and experiences that life has to offer. So keep that in mind as you're as you're growing up or as you're as you're growing older or as you're whatever. I, I I'm of the mind that we are always growing up. But keep that in mind. And remember that I said it. Or don't, doesn't matter, just keep that in mind. I think it will make your experiences in this journey uh, a, a lot more interesting. Anyway, guys, that's my time. I got to get out of here. Thank you for joining. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to follow me on Twitter. Just go to twitter.com slash lefty643. Once again, that's twitter.com slash lefty643. Thank you for joining. I hope you enjoyed. I am out. <laughs>